Well, considering I fell asleep once during a root canal. Yeah. And it just so it was just boring. Is that what it boring. was? Boring. And yeah. then I had, I didn't have the best attitude way back when the doctor would look at me and go, hand me the, that thing. And I would purposely like hand him an explorer. And I said, if, if you want me to hand you the right thing, let's call it by the right name. And obviously that didn't go over very didn't well. Go well. No, it didn't go over well. Oh, wow. But that same doctor, he decided to take all of his business team to Arizona for a training class and said, Brenda, just assist while I'm gone. Don't worry about anything else. And the first patient walked in the door and they said, I need to know how much I have to pay. And I had no idea, but I'm like, don't worry about it. We'll take care of it when you get back. And he goes, that's not how I work. So he hands me his insurance card. I called the insurance. I called the software company uh, to figure out how to put it in. And I was getting the information straight from the horse's mouth. So what we found out is the information that I was receiving was accurate. Hmm. And the information they had in the office, which this person told this person told this person was not so I ended up getting fired in his office as a dental assistant for not listening to him. And then he told me I could come back at two o'clock for an interview that they were going to be hiring somebody to do the insurance. So I went home and got all dolled up and put on my interview clothes and updated my resume. And they really fired. They like he really let you go and said, come back and like for real. Yes. He wasn't like, wow.